Well, our mega dateline starts with week one, uh, which is November 30th to December 6th. And in essence, in this whole week here, you're going to be understanding the whys and the whats. And what you're doing is you're digging up your belief structure. You're digging up the way you're raised. So if you're raised to say you can't be creative for a living, this is a time where you'd say, well, maybe I can. I, my heart doesn't believe that. So we're digging up in this first week. And the way I've designed these new megascopes is that each week, in my opinion, always has really a beginning, middle, and an end, right? So I have found the three most important dates of the week. And in this first week, the first important date is Sunday, November 30th. On Sunday, you are making decisions to step away from the old thinking. This is after Thanksgiving, so you might have spent time with uh, your family in Kansas, and you've decided it's time to leave Kansas, right? You're also making a career decision time uh, where it's time to make some sort of decision or commitment to career. That's represented by your ruling planet Mars on Sunday, November 30th. So before you go back to work on Monday, you are perhaps uh, navigating a move that you want to make in your career. The other thing that's super important to note is that your heart is reaching a level now of, uh, of where passion uh, should be ruling you. So you want to step into your passion this, this first week in your heart. Even though it's a time out week really for accomplishment, you want to step into your passion because your passion in your heart is where you should be pointing your career unless you're making a career move that you know is going to change. So the real first date is this Sunday after the Thanksgiving holiday where you are contemplating and deciding what should happen next. The next key important date in the week then is Friday. So really for the whole week you're really exploring belief structure and where your self-limiting beliefs are. And in Namaste Today, my daily show, I'll be going into the details of that. But from Sunday to Friday, exploring limiting beliefs. By Friday, your new faith is already challenged. So you've already moved into a new way of thinking and out of an old way of thinking. So that transition happens this week. And it's really, uh, at this point, your first challenge. So in this challenge here, you're going to want to move ahead and maintain your emotional boundaries. It's go time with personal boundaries. So if you decided you were going to stop something or start something, you absolutely have to be employing that by Friday, December 5th. This is based on Saturn in Scorpio. And it's go time when it comes to uh, living by those boundaries. Now, at the same time, a new social world is opening for you and you must maintain faith during this time okay this new social world uh, has to do with Venus at step 23 in Sagittarius so Venus is opening up uh, possibilities of how you can think and where you can go and what is possible you could li this is literally like discovering it maybe new land you might feel like there's new land in your world and so in this time because it's all uncertain on Friday you're gonna feel challenged uh, you're gonna be challenged on your emotions and you're not gonna necessarily see what's around the corner faith is very important at this point faith is knowing in your heart you won't let you down. Then the final point of week one of the first week of December is the full moon on Saturday, December 6th. So we get a full moon. This is a full moon release. So we are releasing. The moon is in Gemini. So you might have issues with mind games, legal conflicts, uh, you know, issues like that, unfortunately. Um, but that is all so that you can be clear on exactly what it is you believe in. Now remember, belief is before manifestation. We must believe before manifestation, which means that you are moving toward a new direction and it's not proven. It is, is invisible still. All right, so this is the test for yourself to, if your heart is behind whatever it is you believe, you need to move forward with that. And no matter what's going on in your life, Aries or Aries rising, you could be having issues in relationships. This, your belief issues could be manifesting any area in your life. But it, no matter where you are finding yourself challenged, challenge is the key, you want to look for your self-limiting beliefs. So on Saturday, December 16th, it's like, no, it's not true. I can be anything I want. I can do what I want. My heart can be what it wants to be. Your old beliefs are dying. And to some degree, when the moon gets full in Gemini on this day, you want to look at... Um, 
your mind and whether or not your mind is employing the old attitude back when you weren't getting or following your heart or if your mind is employing the new attitude. So the full moon is really about letting go of the old belief, letting go of the old dogmas, letting go of the old uh, self-limiting beliefs and also getting really righteous in your mind and sharp but make sure it's in the new attitude not in the old attitude. Okay, so this is a, about changing really the way you think and approach about your life and changing your thinking. So it's time as of the Saturday, December 6th to change your thinking and you are at step 14 now changing your philosophy. This could be the point when you officially are clear now and you're like, that's it, I believe in this, I believe in what my heart is telling me, I'm going to be a hero here, my airy sway and go for it. And that's one thing I love about you guys is that you do go for it. All right, so that wraps up our first week. Let's move on. To Catch the rest of your Megascope monthly at soulmart.me. Rent or download immediately for just $9.99. Happy New Year.